This is an example of a combination lock. It is minimalistic, quick to build, highly customizable, easy to expand and modify, fully automatic, self-resetting, robust, needs no maintenance, has no moving parts, no circuitry, and doesn't use any coordinates. You can copy these scripts directly into any world. I'll explain how it works. My combination lock code is currently set to button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This can be altered easily later. To get started, first build your keypad. I am using 5 buttons in this example, but you can use as many as you want. Each button requires one script block and one short script. Make sure each button only powers one script block. If you want your buttons in a row, like this, you will have to put the script blocks above, or below the buttons. Once you have placed your buttons and script blocks, starting with button 1, write a script to manage the player's history. Button 1. This script gives the player, button 1 history, and clears all other button histories. This will allow any other scripts to know that the player has pressed button 1. And it removes all other histories, so it doesn't matter what they have pressed before. Button 2. If the player has button 1 history, then, give them button 2 history. Otherwise, clear all button histories. This will allow any other scripts to know the player has pressed button 1, then button 2. And if they haven't pressed button 1 first, then it deletes all histories, resetting the player to no button history at all. Button 3. If the player has one count of button 2 history, then, give them button 3 history. Otherwise, clear all button histories. Button 4. If the player has one count of button 3 history, then, give them button 4 history. Otherwise, clear all button histories. You can see the pattern here, and how easy it is to add more buttons. Button 5. This is my final button. This script says, if the player has button 4 history, which they can only have if they have pressed all the buttons in the correct order, then, give button 5 history, give correct code history, and notify them that the code was entered correctly. Add any other commands you want here, then have the script delete all histories other than button 5. It continues to say, if the player doesn't have button 4 history, then clear all button histories. This script allows any other scripts to query, whether or not the player has entered the correct code, and compare the amount of times they have entered the correct code, and whether they pressed any buttons after button 5, to reset it. Now it is easy to select the order you want the buttons pressed. For example, if I want the code to be, 2, 4, 1, 5, 3. I'll give button 1, script number 3. Which makes button 1, the third button to press. Button 2, script number 1. Making it the first button to press. Button 3, script number 5. Button 4, script number 2. And button 5, script number 4. Now the correct code is, 2, 4, 1, 5, 3. For more scripting ideas and customizations, visit the solutions group at totalminerforums.net.